In this video I want to uh, show how you can figure out an unknown transformer. It's always a problem when you find such a transformer somewhere on a flea market or so. A lot of wires on it. Someone took it out of an elect electric or electronic device. You don't know uh, where to uh, connect the primary or the secondary. Well, I want to give some rules, some ideas how to do that. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is to find the separate windings on the transformer. So here you see a model from a transformer. There are all kinds of windings and when you take a DC ohms meter, like such a thing, you can find out on the transformer which wire is connected to another wire and which wire connects to the same winding. Often this, um, there is a relation between the colors of, on the transformer, color of the wires, so these are two blue wires for instance, that means that this is one winding, uh, two yellow ones or two white ones, but it's not, not always the case. And the next step is to find out which one, uh, which wires are the primary from the transformer. Well, I did a lot of experiments here. At first I connected all these uh, separate windings in series and then used a lamp as a resistor. But the first measurement uh, f um, proved that I got nothing out at the secondary side here. So, uh, you have to do some experiments. Sometimes it's a good idea to um, connect all the, the windings, the separate windings that you find, found and that have a certain resistance in the 1 up to 4 ohms range together and in such a way that all these windings here form a primary winding. But you have to uh, take in account that the phase from these windings uh, also plays a role. So when you do this randomly here, it's possible that, uh, uh, that um, the waves in the primary of the transformer are, are extinguished. So that you can get, get no power um, in, in the primary from your transformer and that also means that no power will be present on the secondary from your transformer. So when you do such experiments, try to find out um, how the, the windings from the transformer are made. This is for instance the outer winding, this is the inner winding. So you can presume that when you connect this outer winding to the inner winding from the second, from the second uh, winding, the face will be all right. But okay, that's uh, a little bit theoretical, but also in practice you have to take these things in account. So it's a little bit difficult, but you can never make mistakes when you use this step-by-step uh, -step instruction. And the most important thing is here that on a certain moment we use a lamp here. And even when you make mistakes in the um, connections on the primary from the transformer and when you make mistakes in the face from all these windings that you have uh, connected together there's no problem because this lamp 75 watts safeguards your transformer. So uh, that was a lot of uh, talk. Okay, <coughs> uh, find out the primary that was point two. For power transformers you can use uh, this rule of thumb that 4 ohms up to 20 ohms DC ohms for the primary coil is normal. For a 40 watt transformer, it's not a power transformer, transformer this is approximately between 20 and 60 DC ohms. For a 20 watt transformer, approximately 100 ohms to 
let's say 200 ohms or so. Smaller than 20 watt transformer, the primary coil has a DC resistance from 200 up to approximately 1000 DC ohms and a small 5 watt transformer um, has a DC resistance on the primary between these two values. So when you find the primary you go to the next step and that is use a lamp as a resistor in your circuit to the primary uh, coil from the transformer. Here you can see how I made it. This is a 75 watt lamp and it switched between the primary coil from the transformer and we can also um, shortcut that lamp with this switch here. That is this switch. Um, when you have done that and you connect your transformer, your unknown transformer to the uh, wall outlet you can measure on the secondary side with an AC voltmeter the voltages. Because you know now uh, the separate windings you can measure um, between the different points whether you find an AC voltage and how high that voltage is. So that's step four. And now uh, you have an indication about how your transformer works, whether it works and of course um, how good it works. Step 4 is now that when you have an indication that your transformer works, when you find voltages here, AC voltages, to shortcut the lamp and then measure it again. And now you will find on the secondary of your transformer the final voltages where the transformer was um, made for. And the final test is test the power transformer with a lamp bank or with power resistors. You see my lamp bank that I use to test all kinds of transformers. So this was the five step instruction and now we're going to do it all in real. I'm going to connect now the 220 volts to the transformer. And you can see that the lamp now lights up. Switch off the lights. And on the secondary side from the transformer you can see my lamp bank and here is one lamp glowing a little bit. But now I shortcut the lamp and now all the lamps are on and uh, that means 